Hallelujah, beloved of God. I have come on here just to say that we must continue worshiping God at all costs, no matter what the cost is. There is a cost to the anointing, to being a Christ-like one, to carrying and anointing, the anointing that destroys all the yokes of bondage, all the yokes of oppression, all the yokes of heaviness of other people. And if the enemy is trying to silence us, we have to use our voice. Spare not and lift up thy voice as a trumpet. Now, sometimes we are to be silent and listen for what the Lord has to say. I mean, we always have to listen to what the Lord's saying. But in other seasons, um, some things try to just hinder us from speaking out and speaking up for the things that are righteous, for the things that are holy, for the things that are just. And um, there is judgment that is coming against this nation because of the wickedness here, but we've been given a grace period. And uh, with this grace period, we can use it to intercede for lost souls. We can use it to war for the souls of the people around us that are deceived and that are following doctrines of demons and uh, serving them and worshiping idols and worshiping the creature rather than the creator. But the God that we serve is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He is blessed forevermore. He will empower us in mind, soul, body, and voice. And he will give us a voice to speak his word. So when you feel like all things are coming against um, your purpose, your mission, your destiny in Christ, you can use the word of God and speak the word of God boldly and declare God's faithfulness, his grace, his mercy, and his loving kindness over your lives. And he will show up in a powerful way, especially in the days ahead. He's making a way in the wilderness where you seem like you're not sure if there's a way out or that there is no way out. And you're contemplating suicide, feeling depressed, feeling anxious. The Lord has come to make a way where there seemed to be no other way. He's the way, the truth, the life everlasting. I'll never stop saying it. No man comes to Father God but by Jesus. Amen.